Hey there. Um, this is a video explaining the Iron AoE tool um, creation process from start to finish. Basically, I'm going to use some existing resources that I have here, uh, which is uh, Fresh Vital Essence. This is pretty easy to come by. You can make it for roughly two to three cents, uh, which is no problem. And then I'm going to use some already existing uh, compound base smart or compound compound base to create some of this stuff. But um, and I already have some of these gums, so we're actually going to go hunting for materials that we need in order to make this pure boon compound three, because this is kind of the center of my forging method. So uh, a lot of people on the forums are saying that they're not cheap resources for this. So the first part of this video is going to be me going around finding uh, cheap resources for um, making making this you know boom compound. So we already have the compound base and the vital essence. So according to our ingredient list, we need shimmering orbs and spitter eye. So I found shimmering orbs. And, you know, I can get shimmering orbs for about 100, in some cases 90, uh, if they're on sale. At the lowest I've ever gotten shimmering orbs was 80, uh, which I still think is a little a little high, but uh, because I could go farm them. But it does save time, so it's good to stimulate the economy by buying it. Um, spitter eye, I hear a lot of people saying that all the eyes are 150, 250, 300. That's just not true. I can I can find spitter eye for 70, 75, and guys from all with no problem. Um, so I'm gonna show you that. All right. So we need 18 and 18 according to the recipe for mass, mass craft. So we're gonna go up my stairs, well my slope, and we're gonna go. Shoot. We're gonna go into town. And we're gonna go to the mall. And we're gonna go to my alt shopping mall. So looks like a couple things sold here, which is cool. Um, that's my shop, a gorgeous face. <laughs> but uh, there's several shops in here that have cheap spitter eyes. So I'm gonna do this kind of sidewalky thing to kind of find it. I think this guy has expensive stuff, but. Yeah, see this is 140, that's the stuff that you guys are talking about. But there are several other uh, places in town that have um, cheaper, cheaper stuff. So one that comes to mind, uh, it might be this one. No, this is the Baker one, this one. Uh, this one has cheap eyes a lot. Uh, I don't see any there. Hey look, 65 cents for for both eyes. Look at this. Boom. So <laughs> that's even less. Uh, I was expecting 75. So 65 is way reasonable. Especially since you people say that you're paying like two, three, four hundred for them. Which is just ridiculous. So we're going to buy 18 of those. It's going to cost, you know, 11, 70. It's no big deal. Whatever. Um, Alright, so now we need, now we just need the shimmering orbs. So, mostly in this mall, people are trying to gouge on the shimmering orbs. I think there's a couple people that have them at like 120. I think this guy over here might have like... Oh, uh, he, he doesn't have any hand. So one of these over here has uh, some orbs for like 120, 125. Hang on. Uh, it doesn't matter. So. What we're actually going to do is we're going to go to a place that I know sells them for about a hundred, uh, and that's the mom and pop shop. So, mom and pop have a express shop. Uh, it's like halfway down over here. Uh, oh, here it is. I'm just go in here to the mom and pop shop and go back here to the uh, shimmering orbs. 
Hey, look, they're 99 cents each. Okay, cool. So they have 95 of them. I only need 18, so let's just buy the 18. It's going to be 1,800, so it's like 2,900 or so total uh, to get this stuff. Uh, plus, if you factor in the fact that you need um, the Pure Boom Compact. I mean, I have a whole break breakdown on the forums of how much this should cost total to make. But if I recall, the Pure Boom Compound 3 is something like, uh, something like, um, 105, I think, 105, 110, maybe. Alright, so, this way. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my place with my new materials that we just bought, that you saw me buy from real stores in Gaius or Mall that are obviously owned by other players you know, that I do not control with reasonable prices, which most of you say is not a doable thing. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make that Pure Boom Compound, uh, Pure Boom Compound 3 with my existing materials. And it's going to be, you know, affordable, and it's going to be about 95 per, or 100, 105 per, somewhere in that range, somewhere around 100. No big deal. So when I come back, um, we will use that in conjunction with the gums and stuff that I already have made to make uh, AOE, you know, three by three iron tools for less than a thousand. So, or well, it's less than 1,500. Let's Less than a thousand is a little bit of a stretch, but less than fifteen hundred is totally doable. So uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Hey there, we're back. Um, so we finally got done with this uh, this stack of Pure Boom Compound Three. It took about thirty minutes or so on my powered um, extractor. Um, yeah, so we're gonna use that in conjunction with some of the other stuff I have. Um, to forge some AOE iron hammers that are completely reasonable in price and resource consumption. So we're going to add this over here. And uh, as you can see, uh, my normal method uh, includes one an unstable boon compound, three, uh, which would give us a little bit of defect, but it will give us an initial boost of you know a bunch of points for boon. And then we fill that in with Pure Boon Compound 1 and 3. And then we make liberal use of the uh, special gum and effect gum to kind of put the effects that we actually want on our, uh, on our tool. So, and then also the, the setting resin and the deconstruction resin just in case we get uh, incredibly unlucky. But I don't think we're going to need the deconstruction on an iron tool because we're making it for a newbie. We're not making it for somebody who's walking around on a tier six planet. We're making it for a guy who's literally swinging the, the hammer so slow that any AOE is a significant upgrade. So we're gonna do it on two of them, and you can see I'm not max on my forge. I max or I'm almost max on my character. Let me actually show you that real quick. Um, so we got. Vitality and power maxed and intelligence. I don't have this one uh, maxed. I probably have some points for it, but um, I have not sunk it in there. Uh, you can see I've got most of these uh, maxed. I've got the mass crafting because he needs to forge the compounds. But technically, I could put that on another character, but you know, whatever. Um, I have the weapon crafting, uh, weapon crafting boon so or gear crafting boon so it applies to everything weapons tech whatever I have the um, the spark reduction one I have the forging epic which is me the extra slots and then uh, I have another spark one for tools because this guy pretty much only makes hammers uh, most of the time so anyway uh, mostly max I just don't have this I mean I let me just see if I have enough points for it. I don't know, probably. 
Nope, I didn't get any points because I didn't level apparently, but whatever. Oh, look, I just, I just leveled. <laughs> That's funny. So we'll just throw a couple points in there. Whatever. Okay. So, this will be a little higher now. No big deal. Yeah, we're 177. Alright, so it gave me a plus 5, so it's no big deal. Um, Alright, so I'm going to start this process of forging these into a 3x3 three three AoE. I'm going to make a slight modification to the, the method that I post on the forms, only because in my last video, which I'm also posting, um, we actually only wound up with 3 by 3 uh, sorry, we only wound up with the cross adjacent, not the 3 by 3 um, which is acceptable for a newbie, but still, we would prefer if it was a 3 by 3 so, obviously 3 by 3 is way better because it does almost twice as many blocks, but even with a, a cross adjacent, you're still doing five times as many blocks as a normal, normal weapon, um, if you have the right amount of extra damage. So we'll start out by putting the three special gums on there. And as I said in my previous video, even though a lot of people are saying that it's been nerfed and you know whatever, uh, I didn't forge pre-nerf or whatever you want to call it, but I can say with certainty that three is like 90% of the time is going to get you only either magnet or AOE. It's not going to get you some random other super boon. It's only going to be those three. And because we're not using catalyst, we don't have to worry about it once we get to the effect gun because at that time we're going to have seven boosts and that's going to be more than 100% guarantee that you're going to get one of these two. So um, we're going to start with this one though because it's extremely important that we get the AOE. Um, so we're going to go ahead got three buffs there. We're going to start with this unstable boom compound. That's uh, going to give us a full bar. It's going to get us the first roll. And then get us a support, support point and a defect on. One defect on a iron tool is not that big of a deal as long as it's not one of those ridiculously bad ones. Quirks, uh, most of them are okay in my opinion. In fact, I actually prefer something like the sinking one. The sinking one, I think, is amazing. Um, I already have a, already have trouble swimming, so the faster I can go down, you know, under the water, and the longer I can stand under there, it's better for me. So I think that one's pretty awesome, quirk. But um, anyway, you can see that we rolled, just like my other video, we rolled one time, and we got the the AOE boom. So. Uh, it's not that uncommon. Yeah, this is two videos back to back, basically. I've not done anything in between, and both times I've gotten the AOE on the first roll. So it's not out of character for it to only require three. Uh, anyway, we're gonna start loading this up and try to get this up to four instead of three. So my forum post, I say get it up to four or get it up to three. Um, but in my last video, we wound up with only cross adjacent, so we don't want to get stuck with that again. So we're gonna get it up almost to four, maybe to four, and then we're gonna add the uh, e effect uh, for the extra damage after that. So, go ahead and add this in here to fill up the bar again. See if we can get this up to three and a half, maybe four. And if we get magnets, that's okay too. Be good. This one is the. Uh, not even on there yet, but this one's not on there yet either. <laughs> Alright, so magnet, that's fine. I mean, we, can, we have one slot, which means that we're either going to get high damage or high critical damage. Mm, I mean, I, for a noob tool, both of them are acceptable, as I say in my post, but um, this one will be problematic if we get unlucky enough to get that extra little bit in there. This one is super annoying, but, you know, whatever, it's no big deal, nobody's, eh, nobody's really gonna, if, if, if we set that in, it will be annoying, probably won't be able to sell it, but, uh, we could use it on an alt character or whatever, it's no big deal, because remember, this is for, uh, level 1 to level 3 planet, so, if, as long as we get that damage boon on here as well, it's 
gonna give us enough damage to one shot on a, at least a tier one, probably a tier two, and one or two shot on a tier three. So let's go ahead and roll for another, another little bit here. Hopefully we get more in this AOE. That'd be preferable. get it to about three and a half, almost four, and then we'll roll to the, the heat back down. Alright, we're getting higher there. Uh, this gap is not big enough to warrant a pure boom compound. So, or the three, so we're gonna use the one. I'm only gonna pull it about halfway with that. But it should still be enough to get us to a two and a half mark. So Alright, so yeah, that's fine. Um, now we'll switch back to the pure boon. So keep in mind, I started with a hundred of this pure boon three. So, at this point, we've only used four, and we're almost all the way where we need to be for our AoE already. So we're halfway there, once we've had half of them bigger resources, which is what I expect. Alright, so that's, that's perfect. So now we have a 3x3 three three AoE. So now let's throw on the effect gun. So, in my method, we use four effect gun. The reason that we use four is so that it now becomes the primary uh, primary boon that we want to add, uh, the, the primary trait that will generate boons. So luckily, I mean unluckily, we've already gotten both of the boons for special, which means we only have one slot for this other boon, uh, which means that there are only two boons that we can get from this set, and now there are only four boons that we can get total because with seven gums, that's basically a 100% guarantee that you're going to get one of these two. And since we already have it in this, this category, it means we have a 50-50 shot of getting the higher crit damage or the higher regular damage. And truth be told, as long as we get one of them, it'll probably be fine on Iron Tool. I mean, you really want the, the main damage because it's going to bring up every hit instead of just every fifth hit. But as long as we don't get the, you know, critically unlucky uh, defect, uh, it's going to crit, you know, one out of five times, which means that most of your hits on a tier one world are going to be a one shot. On a tier two world, it's probably going to be a two shot. On a tier three world, it's probably going to be a three shot. But every fifth one is going to get you probably a, a two shot on a tier 3 world and a, a one shot on a tier 2 world, which is acceptable. And that's still way, way faster than they're currently doing with the crap tool they're they're using existing or already because remember they're a noob, they're they're not walking around with gym tools. They're walking around with freaking stone tools. Or at best case an iron tool with a good spec and they're hitting one block at a time. So this is gonna hit nine blocks at a time because we have the three by three AoE and um, and uh, it's going to be basically nine times faster. So they're going to be getting way more resources, which is the whole point of having the AoE hammer. So now we have four stacks. So this makes this the primary, which means that we're definitely going to get one of those two uh, traits. Now we need to, one of those two booms. So now we need to start loading it back up with points again. So. Go ahead and roll that. Yeah, so that pretty much guarantees that we're not going to get a, a full quirk. Alright, um, roll again. Because now it's split between two quirks and the odds of it going in that first one are 
very small. And that first one's annoying, so we don't want that one for sure. And plus it's a very small sliver, so it's not really going to make it anywhere, probably. And there's our damage one. So now we have the AoE, and we're well on our way to getting enough points in this one to overcome the negative. We need, I think we need five point, or five levels in this one, which is not a stretch. So, and we still have two pure boon compound threes left, according to my normal method of, um, of crafting this. So, to still be with, within the 1500 range. So, with eight pure boon compound threes, and up to eight pure boon, pure boon compound, um, ones and one pure boon compound or sorry unstable boon compound three and these gums and these setting the setting resin that total is somewhere below somewhere at or below about 1400 uh, coin for cost and that's including the cost of the tool because the tool iron tools are only 50 if you do the math right if you do it the proper way it's only 50 to make so anybody who's charging, you know, over 100 is just completely ridiculous. Um, so 50, and then about 1350 for all these, uh, which means that if you sell it for 2500, which it's shaping up that this one is going to be able to be sold for 2500 at least, um, you're making a really good profit, and you're making a tool for a newbie that's going to help them, you know, roll through the the first stages of the game. A lot easier because we're gonna be getting nine times the resources um, and if we get this this high enough we might even increase their damage enough to where even with the max spec they can actually one shot um, blocks that they previously wouldn't be able to with a regular regular iron hammer so we're gonna add these these boons back or these more of this boon compound back on here see if we can get this up to five at least would really be good is if we can get it like seven plus and that will get us way into the positive but five at least will get us to break even and then they'll basically be hitting nine blocks at the same time boom so we're at five so this is this is a great tool uh for a newbie right now so we can gamble and try to get this up to seven which i think i am going to do because i still have you know a little leeway here um, with my 1300 because right now this without using this one I would be at about 1200 because this is about a hundred per for the price um, so I'm, I'm gonna roll that but I think that will only get us to about six if we get full amount uh, and I still have plenty of these to use so these are only about 20 cents a piece though so I think I've only used one of these which means that I still have seven of these left according to my own method um, to be within the price range. And we still have enough resource left here for stability and vigor that using this would be well within that range too. Not all seven, maybe all seven, but probably not all seven unless we get really lucky with the stability usage. Um, probably six though, for sure. So we're going to roll it and just see what we can get. And if we get higher on magnet. Uh, that's okay. The only one we really don't want to go to the next level on is the AoE because the random AoE is not really great in my opinion. Um, and of course it goes in the AoE when I say that. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and use these up. We, we are going to get a little bit more uh, to describe my original post because I'd forgotten that I had this character basically maxed out before me. Almost maxed out before me. But see what we here. Alright, magnet leveled up. Alright, so at this point we could waste more of these gum or more of these uh, compounds. But because this bar is effectively empty empty now, we probably shouldn't waste it. So even with the with the level 5 and the uh, AoE, this should get us about break even damage for an iron tool. So I think this is a good enough tool and we, we don't want to waste any more of these so let's go ahead and set this. So basically what we used here was we used 
one UBC three, one PBC, or sorry, eight PBC threes, and three PBC ones, uh, which, according to my calculations earlier, is about a hundred less because we used five less of these than I allotted for. Uh, off of the total, which means that this tool co effectively cost, including the price of the tool, about 1300 make. Which, this tool can sell for 2500 easy uh, to a newbie, and, as we discussed in the forums. So, and it's going to significantly improve their current, their current, like, rate of, of getting materials. So, Let's take a look at what this is going to get us. So, see, we're we're actually the forging effect is actually plus 40 damage. So we're even more we're even above that mark, that line in the set, line in the sand of uh, getting back to the regular damage. So this tool is definitely going to be able to be sold for 2,500, maybe even 3K, depending on who you sell it to, but. 2500 minimum I would say and that's still going to get you a thousand profit you know 11 1200 profit actually but that's fine all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop off and then I'm going to come back with a new character and I'm going to demonstrate what they would normally be working with already and then I'm going to show you what it's like to use this iron AOE on a tier one tier two planet um, because you know, when we get older in the game, we get used to using, you know, gym tools and one-shotting T6 blocks, and the idea of using an AOE iron tool is just completely ridiculous to us because we have no use for it. But for a person that's just starting the game, it's a godsend. I mean, it's like going from, you know, r driving a bike to driving a car. It's, it's not even in the same league. So... I'm going to demonstrate that so we can all see what's going on. And uh, you can see this is actually the second time in an hour that I did back to back a forge of a hammer and got the appropriate boons that we need. So I don't think that, that could be considered being lucky. If you just follow the process, it should, it should work. So I'll be back with a uh, follow up and uh, we'll go from there. Hey there. I just started a new character, and uh, it's called, his name is Luby, um, because he's a newbie. And I'm gonna just go through the tutorial stuff real quick. Uh, it's gonna be about 30 minutes, and then hopefully by that time, those forged items I made will you know, be done. So I need to gather some trunks and some foliage here. So let's go ahead. Oh, because I'm in a city. Didn't realize I was in a city. I mean, I, I guess I knew I was in a city, but I have, I have it turned on to... Oh, here we go. Alright, so we did just complete a whole bunch of stuff here. We got more points. Goodness. Okay. At eight points. So when you max that out, we also need to. Uh, well, the thing is, what kind of gatherer do we want to be? Because if we want to be specialized, you know what? For purposes of the the video I was going to make, we want it to be a uh, hammer specialized. So. Let's start, start down that path. Alright. So now, we've got a starting character. A little, little hut going here. And he is ready to start really making a dent. You see that... Let's get this hammer out. And let's dig some more. But you'll see how slow this is. So this is... This is pretty slow. I have to hit every block. I'm on a tier one planet. I have to hit every block twice with this crappy crap hammer.
this is taking forever. I mean, it literally took me like 20 minutes to clean off this bottom part to begin with. Of course, that was also with the wooden hammer. Now I have the stone hammer. But the point is that it's still super freaking slow. Nobody could build a whole base at this speed. Like, this is unbearable, basically. So there's going to be a wall here. We need a two-plot landing. So, sorry, wall, two-plot landing. Start going down. wall there, but I'm going to go ahead and knock it out right now. So, <laughs> if I had that AoE iron hammer that I made in my other video, this would be going ridiculous fast. Especially with my power already maxed out. And a few points into the hammer specialization, like, this would just be flying by. Like, I, I would be able to clean this out in like probably less than a minute. It's already been like three minutes. All right, so we've, we've cleared out a little bit. We're starting our third floor down here, triple basement, whatever, double basement. We're gonna need a chisel eventually, but. Alright, so this is a good place to, you know what, let's actually block up this hole. I'm tired of falling in it. Okay, so this will be a good place to stop for now, and I'm going to check to see um, check to see what the status of my uh, forging is. So. Thanks, thanks for watching that. Hey there. So, I'm back. Uh, we're coming to the end of the forging for my um, T2 iron 3x3 hammer. Uh, so, I went ahead and uh, kind of set up this little makeshift shop in my, uh, in my, my base. And... I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, the, the cross-adjacent hammers that I made in my first video, which are uh, cross-adjacent. It has minus durability, which sucks, which is why we're kind of discounting the price a little bit. But you can see it actually has positive damage uh, and some extra traction, which is cool. So the positive damage is a, is a big big thing here so even though it's cross adjacent it's still going to get them a little bit of uh, AOE so because it's cross adjacent and because it has reduced durability we're going to knock it down to 2200 which is you know well within new range um, and then this is the one that I just made which is the one that we looked at earlier it's an effect all adjacent and it has also positive damage and it also has the attraction range um, so on a t2 planet with the right spec they should be able to one shot uh, blocks um, which is good so we're gonna sell those for 2500 because remember it, for both of these it costs about 1400 or so to make total actually the cross adjacent one was only about 1300 because we kind of gave up towards the end this one was uh, about 1350, but we're rounding it to about 1400 because you know you might need spark or something for some of the stuff I didn't calculate in my original form post. So we're just going to do both, um, and we're going to put them in my little makeshift shop right here. Now this one is the three by three, so let's make sure that we get the three by three. 
And this is effect all. Double, double check. Yep, that's the right one. All right, so over here in the price list, we're gonna set this to 2,500. And then in this one, we are going to set this one to 2,200. Because it does do extra damage extra positive damage the other one was barely above positive but this one does like 200 extra damage the other one's only 40 but it does have reduced durability so this one you're definitely um, guaranteed basically to one shot t2 blocks but it has the cross adjacent which sucks so 2200 is still okay for this we're still making a little bit of profit it's not that great um, because it's a cross but a, a new player will make use of that um, because remember they're using either single single block iron tools or they're using still the stone tools which is total crap um, which you saw just a couple minutes ago in the video it's, it's real it's kind of slow but it's two shotting t1 blocks which on a on a max strength character I mean it's not max uh, hammer mining but it was max strength so anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop back over to my other character the Luby character and we will see um, how much money he has and how much longer he's gonna need to take to be able to buy one of these so I'll be back in a minute hey there I'm back on uh, Luby and we are going to uh, try and find the shop that I have set up. Let's go ahead and turn this off. So this is Ari. And we are going to go to the Portal Seeker Hub, which is, I believe, this direction. If I remember correctly. Somewhere over there ish. Um, that's boring. Uh, ooh, let's see. Where is it? That's weird. Uh, street market. This is a hub of sorts, but it's not the one I was looking for. Okay. Oh. I don't know how I missed it. It's like right in front of me. So, my main base is on Landis, so we gotta go here, and we're gonna go to Landis over here. I have a portal right here. Alright, so it's downstairs inside of my private sanctum. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Okay, oops. Whoa, 2500 for a 3x3 three three iron, 2 tier 2 iron hammer? Or 2500 or 2200 for a cross or days one? Man, that's a good deal. How much money do I have? Oh, I only have 1500. Well, I just started. Um, Alright, so let's go and see if we can achieve some more of these things to make some more money. Okay, so now let's take a look. Got 100 coins for that. Alright, gained a level. So, this should get me that other achievement now. A 
Okay, so now I have 2,500. Now I can actually go and buy this awesome iron AOE 3x3 tool and really do a side-by-side -side comparison how much freaking faster this is. Oh. Uh, that's funny. Uh, I'm gonna have to take away permission now. <laughs> this will take just a moment. Now I should be able to buy it instead of where the heck that was. Okay. So Okay, I don't want to buy both of them. Can't afford both of them. There we go. I can do that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm a new character. I got an AoE iron hammer now. At what level am I? Level am I? I'm nine. Level nine, I got an AoE iron hammer. Alright, so let's go test this, this thing out. Hey, look. Nope, I don't have much of that. Oh, well. We'll just do it on some of this community land up here. This is a T3 planet, so it's a landless. I doubt this is going to be enough damage to one-shot blocks on landless, but we're going to give it a shot. For comparison though, first we're going to check out um, the other hammer to see how long it takes. So, two, three. That's three. I might be able to one-shot. Two, three. Yeah, alright, so that's pretty consistently three. Alright, I might be able to one shot here. Let's find a good open. Okay, here we go. Technically, I was already near a hole, but whatever. Alright, let's see. Oh, that's a two shot. It's almost a one shot, though. I don't know if you see how much damage it's doing there, but. It's two thirds of the bars. So, yeah, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's not amazing. Even two shotting a tier three block, though, is way better than uh, what they're currently doing, especially since we do it with nine. Um, all right, so let me go to my home planet, which is Ari. Or Ari. I think it's Ari, but you know, whatever. And we'll give this thing a shot. And I mean this thing is not not bad. This is I made this back to back with those other cross adjacent ones and this is a pretty decent weapon for twenty five hundred or pretty decent tool for twenty five hundred. And as we just saw, a level 9 character can afford 2500 just by doing regular regular quests. Alright, so I'm going to go this way this time. Oh wait, I don't need to go that way. What am I doing? Ari is across the hall. Okay, where's my base? My base is this way.
Ooh, I like these. Yeah, that's an interesting use of a door. That's that's awesome. That was that was just a flat good idea right there. Um, that's actually super fancy. Hey, look. This looks familiar. This is my place. All right, good. All right, so I don't want to dig too far down inside my base. So what we're actually going to do here Oh yeah, this is the tier 1 planet. <laughs> so, he doesn't really care I'm standing here. Okay. So, here again is what it looks like with the stone hammer. I'm two-shotting blocks on a tier 1 planet with a stone hammer, a regular stone hammer, which is what a level 9 character probably is still working with. Because I, I only went through the tutorial and I barely had enough money, had enough resources to make anything significant. Um, well, you know what? I actually do need... Do, let me see if I can make some sticks. Yeah, okay. Sticks. I actually need a torch. <laughs> Industrialized. So, basic torch. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. Level 9 characters are definitely using this, this tool. I mean, unless they're an alt for an existing player that has you know, iron tools, in which case they're probably using an iron tool, but even an iron tool is really nothing in comparison here. So let's just see what this, this tool can actually do. Alright, so here's the forge one. Look at that. That is a one shot. Clean one shot after one. That is so much faster. So, just to reiterate, this is what they're doing now. And they're going through it at an okay pace, I guess, with a stone hammer. With an iron hammer, it'll be a little more damaged, so it'll probably be one-shotting the block. But it'll be swinging slower, so it'll feel slower. And then, we go to the AOE hammer. All of a sudden they're just basically walking through all this. No impedance at all. I mean, obviously if they're running through the gravel, there's impedance, but... Look, they found a cave. Okay. There's my stuff over there. Hey, what's this stuff? Oh, that's copper. I need copper in order to make better stuff. It's a good thing I have this AOE tool that I can just knock this out now. Like this. Hey, look. More copper. definitely want to find more of that copper because I'm going to need a lot of it. This AOE tool is going to really help me get there. And if I find enough of this copper, I can actually sell it, you know, to people who, um, who are buying it. Most people are buying it for probably four or five, which is reasonable to sell it for a new player. So, I can make some quick money that way and buy better equipment or buy another, you know, AOE hammer and, you know, continue to make more money. So, it's a cyclical thing. If you participate in the economy and you, on both sides, you know, make lower tier items for newer players and also as a newer player buy those items, then it's a cyclical thing. So everybody wins. 
you know. Right now, nobody can afford a $20,000 hammer at level 9. It's just not a thing. You literally can't do that. Even as an alt for another character, unless you actually give your character money, you're not going to be able to afford a $20,000 hammer at level 9. And besides, it would be dumb to give a level 9 $20,000 hammer because they're not spec for it. I'm barely spec to use this hammer, but level 9 is about where you could potentially start making use of it. So, it's doable, and we went through the whole process of me making it and showing you the difference between using the existing crappy hammer that they're going to use and using this so, like, so that you can remember what it's like to not be one-shotting two six blocks. Look at this, we're already doing more achievements too because, because we're hitting more blocks at once and we're one-shotting them. Well, we're not really one-shotting resources, but you get the point. It's going a lot faster. And we're getting more stuff to build up our base with. Which will help us get more money and more achievements. More, more levels. Now, see, I have all this rock. How much rock do I have now? I got... Well, definitely more than 51. Where's it? Oh, here it is. So... You know, these are from the other planets that I was... Or the other planet I was on. So, I could probably drop those too. But, point is that I've only been using this AOE hammer for a couple minutes now. I started with 50 and now I have 600 um, instead of mining forever for 600. So it's a significant improvement for a person who is level 9 who started out. And 2500 is obviously you watch me get from from level you know zero to level nine. You can easily achieve that. You're not spending the money on anything else, so you might as well get you an AoE tool if one is available. So, yeah. Hopefully this is going to get you on the same page as what I was talking about. Not that hard to roll it. It's You're making a profit as the creator, and it's significant improvement over what they're currently using. So significant that most users will actually use their only 2500 to buy the damn thing just so that they can mine faster. I'm actually going to do a follow-up video shortly after this. I'm going to mine for a little bit. A follow-up to this. And show you what I've, what I've you know, gathered with this AoE hammer and what you know type of money I'm able to make off of it. Because if I'm able to make 2500 off of it, or more really, more than 2500 then this, this is the, you know, proof that this is a sustainable thing, you know? Because people are gonna continue buying them until they get to the point where they can, or where they need to use, you know, the titanium hammers or the, or the gym hammers, so, and it's cheap, which is the important thing, it's, it's inexpensive, it's only about 1300 to make, and you're still making profit as a person is doing it, so, anyway, uh, I'm going to do that, um, and then I'll, I'll be back, alright.